Welcome back guys, it's day 5 and we'll be making ourselves debris in Lord of the Rings Middle Earth. If you want to watch the rest of the days of my Lord of the Rings adventure, then check out the description of this video. Now if you've watched day 4, you'd remember that we passed Brandywine Bridge and we were about to make our way to Bree. And this is the day guys that we finally make our way there. So we're here on this road from Brandywine Bridge to Bree and it's not long now until we see something interesting. So far, I have seen no more orcs or any other interesting creatures or artifacts. However, when I walked a bit more further, I started seeing a bit more change in the trees. See how dead they look here? And wow, there's so many orcs. And that's a huge healthy tree. Let's move away from them. Back on the path again, heading east. And I can see the road shifts over a hill. Once I got over it, I got this achievement of hobbits and men what could that possibly mean enter the region of Bree land oh my god we're getting this so close and ooh, the cobblestone road is a dirt path road again the scenery has changed a bit as well there's not much trees around I went further down the road, beginning to love the countryside vibe scenery. There were butterflies fluttering around everywhere. A few trees scattered here and there. I just loved it. Then, I saw these guys. Were they friendly? Were they like orcs? I walked up to them. And then, I found out that they were, indeed, Bree men. The little folk may not seem as much, but Bree folk would not be the same without them. I highly agree, I highly agree. And Belle says, not a lot of people know this, but Bree were the first to discover pipe weed. Oh, was that so? I never knew. So with this new profound information I gathered, I headed on my way. There was so much Bree men around. I must be getting to Bree. I was this close. I was finally glad to know that I was not alone. I had civilization. Happy with what I had found, I walked even more further. The landscape became even more beautiful with these lush flowers. I even found this bunny along the way. It was so adorable. But before I could see his face, it just hopped along the path. It was too cute. And just when I saw that, I saw these people. Breed guards. Nothing to see here. Just go about your business. Well, that was rude. What do you have to say? Be careful with those rangers in the night. They're uncanny. Well, he must be talking about those rangers of the north. And yes, I will find them here in Middle Earth. Just look how happy I am. Just hopping around across the path. Absolutely nothing in my hand. I knew I would have been needing a sword or any weapon right here in Breeland. Because guess what? There were no orcs. I walked for a bit more longer and came across my dudes. But hobbits in Bree? That was pretty sus. But then I found out there were indeed Bree hobbits. There have been some strange people coming from Greenway Road. Greenway Road. Another place to discover, I thought. I took a look on my map and I did find it. Maybe I'll head that way later, who knows. But it was my sole priority to make it into Bree. Who's excited as I am to see what treasures hold at Bree. And then, I finally came across four paths. I was in the middle. And oh my freaking god guys, that's Brie. Right there is a beauty, just like in the movies. And the sign says, welcome to Brie. I finally made it. Alright, let me cool off. Here we go. The doors are absolutely epic. Does the lever work? No, maybe one more time. Yep, there we are. 
So green looks absolutely amazing. Let me check every house. Well, there was nothing in there. Stay on the roads, friend. Things lurk in the dark. Oh yes, you're telling me. Let's see. What about this house? Dandelion House. Oh, why well, hello there, Mr. Dandelion. If you're here for our excellent pipe weed, we grow them on the southern slopes. Ooh, nice. Oh my gosh, there are so much good loot in here. I'll take the iron and the pies, thank you, and I'll just leave this riddle book. Okay, now let's head here. Hedge house. Ooh, bread, more arrows, pears, and yes, that's it. What about this house? Dogrose house. Um, more iron, more bread, and yes, I'll take the arrows. Wait a minute, there's an upstairs as well. Oh, there's an upstairs for every house. That's super nice. What about in here? Butter middle house. I'll take the bronze ingot. But guys, look at my inventory. I guess I have to give something away. Let's give away my ale. So there's more food upstairs. Which is really awesome. You know, I should definitely organize my pouches and inventories. It's a mess, I know. So, more iron and a medium pouch, but that's handy. Oh, hello there. I love listening to tales and songs from outsiders. Ooh, yes, foreign stories always send shivers down my spine. Anyways, there's more food upstairs, which is awesome. Hmm, what about over here? There's so much places. And there's a quest. Slay 30 Gundabad Oak. Are you kidding me? Maybe just not yet. Okay, what do you have in this chest? More pie. And upstairs, you have ingots. Another nice quest. I hope it's something easy. Two bronze shovels. Yeah, maybe not. I mean, I have five bronze ingots, but I'll probably keep that for myself. And what about you? What do you want? Ten ale. Sorry, I don't have that on me. I mean, I really want to earn some favor with the Breland people, you know? So I explored Bree further, and I came here. There were so much places, I'm telling you. Wow, there's a few stalls as well, which is convenient. I mean, look at this place. Oh, what do you sell? You're a florist. That's wonderful. And you? A lumberman? Handy. But nothing interesting here, except for this bucket. I mean, I have got milk buckets. Wait, is that a bird in a cage? That's cute. And Ooh, a nice shiny axe. I want to take it, but I have to organize my inventory. Hmm, let's keep the ale in there and the milk bucket in here. There you go, a bucket. And no, it was definitely not full of milk. Anyways, I got a few more coins. You know, let's keep all these things in here. Plates, leads, conkers, and yeah, that's it. There, at least we've got some more space over here, which is nice. Hmm, that's my food pouch. And yes, let me get that axe. Wonderful. So now, I took a look at a house nearby, and I found a leather hat. Now this is kind of cool and kind of weird, but I was going to stick with it until I found something more appropriate. Anyways, I walked on in Bree and I found this beauty, an iron battle axe. I popped it out of the shelf and gathered it into my inventory. I also got myself a crossbow and kept my old bow back in the shelf. Hope he doesn't notice. I also took this nice iron sword. 
There was also this nice armor stand as well. I took the leather chest plate. Now I was beginning to look like one of the Breland men, which was really epic. And then I saw this just across the road. Sheriff Nob Barkley. Ooh, silver nuggets as well. Oh, hello Sheriff Barkley. I hope he didn't see me take his stuff. Anyways, let's explore this place. You know what I'm going to do? Let me take that chandelier. Now this is going to be for the house that I intend to make later on in the game. Anything in here? Well, nothing useful there. So I found more arrows and as I was wandering on, I saw this building. Yes, I couldn't believe it. It was a prancing pony. But before I entered the inn, I saw this really shady person walk outside. He was a ruffian spy. They didn't seem to attack me, so I let him be for now. I entered the inn and I loved what I saw already. There was nothing much on the first floor, so I walked upstairs. Now guys, you can find pretty good weapons on these shelves. I mean, look at this beautiful pipe. Look, it's super epic already, don't you think? I also had this idea to take the iron chandelier as well and leave the bronze chandelier back in place. Yeah, I am was going to look lovely in my beautiful house. And by the way, I took that dagger that I found as well. And by the time I stepped outside of the inn, it began to rain. I found a good house for shelter and I found a few more useful food items. And upstairs, I found two more pouches. Lucky or what? And that is when I figured out that this was the right time to sort out my inventory. And guys, that's what I did. I also took the iron helmet instead of the leather hat. And once I had everything sorted out, from my foods to my valuables and silver, I found it a nice time to sleep. And so, I slept that day off. And this is it for day 5 everybody. Hope you enjoyed it guys. Subscribe to our channel for more content like this. And if you want to join us on our adventure, then turn on notifications. And yes, you'll be sure to see us pretty soon. See you later.